So back to what I was saying Could be us What's up guys, it's your boy Taiwan, Mr. AKA Black Angus himself. Your boy just got done eating a regular meal. As many of you know, they follow me that I am doing the whole vegan thing right now. Um, I went straight vegan for two days, that worked, that failed miserably. So right now I'm doing about four vegan meals a day and two regular meals. On a good day I'll do five vegan meals and one regular meal and I just had a regular meal and it was so good. It was Rudy's barbecue brisket. It was amazing. But enough of that, I have a big day tomorrow. Um, they are coming out to install the NEMA 1450 or 1540 um, wall outlet to plug the Tesla in so right now just with a regular socket you can plug the Tesla in I'll show you here real quick. so you can plug a Tesla into a regular socket like this but you will only get about two to three miles per hour of charge it charges extremely slow so the NEMA 1540 is, I believe is what it's called. It'll give you about 35 to 37 miles per hour of charge. And we're getting that installed tomorrow. And at some point, maybe in a few months, we're gonna upgrade to the actual Tesla wall charger. And it'll give you about 45 to about 47 miles of charge per, per hour but that's enough of that we'll wake up early and we'll deal with that but right now i'm getting ready to watch a movie with these fellows right here what's up buddies you guys want to go upstairs and watch a movie huh you want to go watch a movie guys movie is over it's time to get in bed and get this wall charger installed music tomorrow morning and we have a great night is up in Adam. The electrician just got here and we're getting ready to install this wall charger. Let's go. is out there working now this is what the NEMA 1540 
looks like. It almost looks like a dryer plug. And this is the connection, one of the connections that you get with a Tesla. And this goes here. And what it does is it creates a faster charge from you, for you and plug it into a regular circuit. This is what's being installed right now. Tesla also makes a wall charger. I'll put a picture uh, of that up so you can see what that is. That charges a little quicker, so we'll get that installed at some point. But right now, between the NEMA 1540 plug, I believe that's what it's called, and the supercharging station that's maybe four or five minutes away from the house, easily be able to keep this thing charged without having any issues whatsoever. So I'm looking forward to this. So. The electrician is all done. We got a new breaker installed. It's 39 and 40, 41, and that is for the Tesla. So this is the new outlet where it plugs into, and this is how we charge. I installed a hook up here so she can charge it from the front or she can place the, the wire here and charge it from the back. And this is the Tesla's new home, right here. And there she goes. So it takes about four to six weeks for the 21 inch turbine wheels to come in. It takes about two weeks for the carbon fiber spoiler to come in. And I recently just saw a all carbon fiber rear diffuser for underneath it is so sharp but we should have this going up and done in about four to six weeks this is the tesla's new home wall charger is installed so it'll take a quicker charge to it now And there you have it, the new plug-in is installed. It'll charge the Tesla in six to seven hours. So basically, um, plug it in at night. By the time we wake up in the morning, it should be completely charged and then have the ability of the supercharger that's five minutes away from the home. Um, and it'll charge the full car. I think it's 260 or 280 mile capacity it has. It'll charge it in one hour. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Parts and labor, having an electrician come out, it came out to be about a little bit over $300 to get the parts have, and pay the electrician to install the plug, which I don't think is uh, too bad. So now we'll be able to charge it instead of 12 volts at the house, the socket allows for it to be charged at uh, 40 volts. So it's a little bit quicker. Um, that's it. So as I progress with this project and keep moving forward, I'll keep you guys posted. Until next time, peace. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest.